in the last lecture we discuss about the human respiratory system and their different part of the human respiratory system now we come to the pulmonary ventilation uh, actually this ventilation uh, lung is highly vascular and muscular therefore it cannot be contract and expand the alternate contraction and expansion of thoracic cavity causes breathing actually uh, what we discuss here when you look the lung in case of the human then uh, this lung is highly vascular and muscular because uh, inside the lung there is a network of bronchi that is primary bronchi secondary bronchi tertiary bronchi then bronchiole and alveolar duct and finally alveoli so there is a network of bronchi which are present inside the lung and because of that lung is highly vascular and muscular and therefore it cannot be contract and expand but what part of the respiratory system are expanded and contracted we discuss here the uh, the alternate contraction and expansion of thoracic thoracic cavity causes breathing the help uh, the help to intake fresh air into the lung that is inspiration and release removal of foul air from lung that is called as a expiration i think you know the expiration process and inspiration process by inhalation or intake of fresh air atmospheric fresh air into the lung that is called as uh, inspiration and removal of foul air or dead air or used air from lung to outside that is called as expiration so inspiration that is intake of fresh air from atmosphere into alveoli to the lung and it is active process and several inspiratory muscles are involved so what we discuss here the pulmonary ventilation in the pulmonary ventilation how inspiration take place how expiration take place at that time uh, different type of the muscles which are associated with thoracic cavity these muscles are involved directly indirectly the contraction and uh, what we call as expansion of the thoracic cavity what are the different type of the muscle they are associated with the contraction and expansion of the thoracic cavity we discuss here so before that what i mentioned here the inspiration is a uh, intake of fresh air into the lung or into the alveoli of lung so this intake of fresh alveoli of lung that is called as it is active process so active process means uh, that is the uh, you know the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere is uh, more that's why this oxygen directly diffuses inside the lung or it reaches to the alveoli through respiratory tract okay the movement of molecule from high concentration to low concentration so when concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere is more therefore this oxygen directly reaches into the alveoli of lung so this process we call as active process okay and in this process several inspiratory muscles are involved the inspiratory muscles are Ischial muscle, pharynx muscle, radial muscle, or pharynx muscle or radial muscle of diaphragm. In addition to that, the movement of muscle during inspiration, one that is called as a pharynx muscle, then external intercostal muscle and abdominal muscle. Generally, when you look the pharynx uh, muscle, when pharynx muscles are contract, the diaphragm is extended and thoracic cavity is increase when diaphragm is extended and thoracic cavity is increased this is due to the contraction of pharyngeal muscle that is uh, these muscles are generally present in between the rib called as intercostal muscle that is external intercostal muscle internal intercostal muscle so the external intercostal muscle they are very important they are present between the two rib Uh, when they are uh, contract rib and sternum pull upward thus increase volume of thoracic cavity when rib and sternum pull outward rib and sternum pull upward then increase the volume of thoracic cavity this is due to the contraction of external intercostal muscle now abdominal muscle 
uh, the muscle of diaphragm and external intercostal muscle main muscle of pressure on contraction of inspiratory muscles volume of thoracic cavity is increase and expansion of lung this decrease the pressure of lung up to the or uh, by minus 2 to uh, then this pressure uh, that is uh, it is a low pressure that is atmospheric pressure when contraction of the abdominal muscle of diaphragm and external intercostal muscle are main muscle of inspiration on contraction of inspiratory muscle volume of thoracic cavities increase and expansion of lung now uh, volume of thoracic cavities increase and expansion of lung and rapidly here fresh air pressure rushes into the lung okay now uh, in addition to that expiration process so in the expiration process it is the process by which foul air or west air expel outside of the lung it is a passive process passive i think uh, this is totally opposite from active process active process i mentioned here because concentration of oxygen is more in the atmosphere that's why this oxygen directly diffuse into the alveolar of lung but here uh, uh, what we call as a fear in the alveoli is a uh, more that's why this uh, concentrated or this CO2 they are released outside or full air they are released outside. So that's what is called as a passive air and it involves the relaxation of inspiratory muscle. Uh, relaxation of inspiratory muscle, but in this case of force, uh, exhalation, abdominal muscle, and intercostal muscle become active and make expiration. It's an active process. Okay. So, movement of muscle during expiration. So, what are the different muscles when you look this pulmonary ventilation diagram? So, I mentioned here the external intercostal muscle. So, these are we call as external intercostal muscle. Then here the internal intercostal muscle. So, these two muscles that are involved in the pulmonary ventilation, in addition to that, the different type of muscle we call as a stereo, uh, stereo, stereo, radio mass, uh, mastoid muscles in addition to that uh, pharyngeal muscles then uh, uh, so there are different type of mus abdominal muscles are there and here there is a sternum so all these part they are involved in the pulmonary ventilation so i mentioned here the moment of muscle during expiration the diaphragm intercostal muscle and abdominal muscle when muscle of diaphragm relax it become dome shaped and decrease the volume of thoracic cavity when you look the structure here uh, the diaphragm contraction and diaphragm session when diaphragm relax it become upward and when diaphragm contract it become downward so this is a moment of diaphragm you observed in this diagram moment of di uh, that is a moment of diaphragm uh, when muscle relax it become dome shaped and it decrease the volume of thoracic cavity now intercostal muscle the contraction of the moves rip a uh, rib downward and inward and reduce the thoracic cavity hence increase pressure in the lung into expiration and now abdominal muscle it causes doming of diaphragm upward. In other words, the contraction of these muscles press the abdominal viscera against the diaphragm and thus decrease the volume of thoracic cavity and increase the pressure of lung. Due to the action of above muscle, the alveol uh, overall volume of thoracic cavity decrease and this lead here from lung. So what we discuss here, that is the pulmonary ventilation. Pulmonary ventilation means how inspiration takes place, how expiration takes place. In addition to that, what are the different muscles which are involved in the inspiration as well as expiration. So what happened when inspiration and what happened in the expiration uh, about the changes in the position of the diaphragm, we discuss here in this diagram here, the different type of the muscle that are involved in addition to the, this is the sternum, this is the rib, and these are the intercostal muscle. Uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, pharynx muscle, then uh, diaphragm, diaphragm changes their movement, that is upward diaphragm, 
or upward that is when diaphragm is relaxed it become upward when diaphragm is contract it become downward uh, that is a dome shaped uh, diaphragm appearance when there is a contraction and relaxation of thoracic cavity so when contraction of thoracic cavity this pressure uh, foul air they are released outside and when expansion of lung or expansion of thoracic cavity or increased thoracic cavity therefore the pressure leap fresh air rushes into the lung and it reaches to the alveoli so only this part we discuss here that is called as a pulmonary ventilation uh, different type of the muscle which are directly or indirectly involved in pulmonary ventilation uh, at a time of inspiration as well as expiration okay so I, I stop here uh, today's lecture here. Hello. 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 Hey Raj. Yes, sir. Ah. Yes. ah. Hello. Are you awake? Ah, awake. Yes, sir. माझा आवाज येतोय का हो येतोय सर हा ठीक आहे मी आता इथे थांबतो कारण बराच वेळ झालाय आपला पहिलाच वेळ हेला निघून गेला आवाज येईना आता आवाज येतोय का माझा माझा आवाज येतोय का हो येतोय सर ठीक आहे मी आता इथे थांबतो पल्मोनरी व्हेंटिलेशन आणि रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टीम ऑफ ह्युमन असे दोन पॉइंट मी कव्हर केलेत 